guys, Dan the Wolfman here at thecombatsystem.com talking a little bit about Russian martial arts and combatives about grab defense. So we started with one lock on my elbow. Now, number one, my head's free, my teeth are free, my legs are free. So they don't own that. They think they own my arms, but they don't own that either. He owns my elbow joint pretty good, but look at my shoulder. He doesn't own my shoulder joint. Okay? So even though I can roll my elbow a little bit, even though he's kind of locking me and hurting my elbow, I'm kind of in an arm bar here, my shoulder joint isn't isolated. So I can move this. Now when I move this, that can lead me to him. And now he's already down, he's already down, and then he's already down too. Now who's got him? Okay? So even, I mean, I mean, they took a second to figure out how to grab me pretty good. So grab a different way on my arms, guys, so I can kind of show about isolation. Just grab it differently. Okay. Okay, so here I am, and they're both kind of doing the same thing. I'm like a crucifix double arm right here. Okay. Now, as you see, he's got my wrist and my elbow joint, but he doesn't have my shoulder again. So I probably start working against him again first. He has my shoulder and my wrist, but not my elbow. So I'm really going to learn body dynamics both. I'll work shoulder and elbow. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to them against each other. Now I'm using no energy. Imagine if I actually threw some real power and breathing in there. I'm just trying to explain some of this so you guys understand. Um, and, and this started with a two-handed grab here. It's like, well, you don't have my head, you don't have my legs. So I could do some cool keto type thing, and then my head, and then my knee. I can just work against his joints. I can do whatever. I can just come outside fast and hit. I'm free to do a, a lot of things. Even if, um, uh, oh, it's two-handed grab on one wrist. Okay, so if I wrestle and I'm static, if he was a bigger guy, he's gonna win. Come in here, Steve. If you got a bigger guy, and I go here, and I'm, man, give me my wrist back. And he's a bigger guy, he's gonna out wrestle me unless I, I'm way higher level martial arts in wrestling than him. But even if he's here, if I loosen my tension, nothing says that I can't move. Now I'm here. And this is what I did the first time when I showed this. Is just because he's got this, doesn't mean I have to fight that. I can give him the arm. Okay, you got my arm. Now I got this, I got this, I got whatever I want. Okay? So you don't have to fight. Uh, the, the, the static thing that's grabbed, you are free to move the rest of you. And now if I add slapping and hitting in, everything changes when you know how to hit, even in a few inches. If I can really hurt somebody here, boom, of course this is really going to hurt. But I mean, I'm at, you know, if when you're at the point where even if he's got here and even if I don't need grab her, and exhale, when I can affect him in a couple inches with a slap, now I could have worked and then I got one guy to do it. Okay, so just slowly you see how that is. I have no idea what I just did, but I just worked. And if it was fast, I would be working and giving them a more tornado of violence. Okay, um, so what did I do? You guys can come in the same way. I think I used my knee. Okay, so I think I just bumped him. I worked against him here and my elbow, while I was working with him, my elbow was coming out of his hold here. So there's this. And now I'm free to hit. This is totally free, right? So now I'm hitting and then something kind of like that. I'm not going that fast. These two can hit, uh, take hits. Uh, he's new, so I don't really want to hit him too hard. Um, but it just kind of shows. Guys, can you come in a, another grab? Three people, a different, different kind of hold. One's got a leg, one's got a neck, one's got an arm. Okay, so this is another possibility. If they were somehow a beehive mentality, and they grab me all at the same time, which isn't really going to happen. Okay, number one, protect my neck from him, because he's going to be breaking my structure and choking me. So number one, I want to probably engage my core, tuck my chin a little bit, while I'm free. Good. Sorry. No, I'm okay, okay. I thought you were Steve. I, I, <laughs> I didn't look to see who was here. Um, uh, 
So you do got to protect your neck. You do got to protect guys from just slamming the ground because you don't really want to be in a grappling fight on the ground with three people. But if it happens, if you're a tornado of violence, uh, I mean, I teach grappling, catch wrestling, and all that as well. It's, you should know it. You should know every range on arm fighting before you think you can fight multiple opponents or with weapons. Okay, there are realities here if we were going hard that I simply can't simulate unless these guys have headgear on and mouth guards and cups at the very least. Um, or they really know how to take hits. Two out of three kind of, no. Alrighty, so guys, can we do, what's another variation? The, the, you guys came in before, three guys, two were on my legs, okay? And one was on my neck, I think. Okay, so right away, I might tuck here and work right away here. Whether I give them double donkey punch of death, slap here, they're gonna get really dizzy. I'm gonna choke my chin and go here, if they're already down, and then I just break the structure and here, and then I'm on the next day. It's very, very simple. I just drop my, you know, you, you think you have me, you don't. I can, I can drop my weight and just do that. That's it. Okay. Um, some kind of other grab around. I might move a little faster. Okay. Now, see, this is the order that it would have came in. I would have already been working. See, I would have already been working when the first guy grabbed me. They're really not going to be able to grab you in unison. He might be grabbing me and he might be hitting me. I mean, that's that's more the reality of it. Are you okay getting beat up a little bit? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll put this in. Um, guys, just, just stick to the grabbing, but I'll, I'll, I'll hit you. Come in and grab. I'll let you get a hold for a heavy. I broke Steve's structure. Steve's heavy ass fell on the other two. Combined mass. Uh, kind of another theory, I guess. We could call that combined mass. Uh, can we do that again? Where were you guys? Yeah, so I worked against my foot here and I went up here. And once I got Steve back, I had Steve's way. And he started to fall on the By this time he didn't get fell. Oh, there he is. So, whatever. Okay. And guys, come in one more time. I'm going to work a little faster, go ahead and grab. Unfortunately, you don't have the cup on, but I wouldn't work in there. His eyes, his chin are exposed. I'm going to work against Steve this way. Oh, still there. Structure around his lower back. So, get my student in a massage. Anyway, guys, that's how you work against multiple people. Is what you think you're static, but you're not. Move, be a tornado of violence, add your weight against each other, jump down, compress, move. It's all about uh, the loose spaghetti noodle movement. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Thanks.